Timothy, I, I just like your take on um, on uh, how the team has played for the last five games and and how you you and how you thought you and Rasmus played against the Rangers. Yeah, I, I think we've uh, we've come out strong, um, really strong def- uh, the last couple of games, and then obviously we've uh, we've given up two two goal leads and uh, just not good enough and. Uh, I think I think our main goal here is to uh, to make a better job of of defending our own net and uh, just keep the puck out of our net and I think that goes with me and me and Sandy as well. I think we we started the game pretty well against the Rangers uh, the first half and then um, the halfway through the second and uh, in the third at moments uh we uh we just weren't hard enough and uh they obviously scored scored two goals against uh against us too so um we uh we got to be better for sure and what what is the big difference when you go from being the the third pair playing with third liners a lot and then you go against the the, the bigger players on the first and second lines in the position you are in now what's the big difference for you in that adjustment I think it's just that you you uh, play against maybe the other team's best players more often, and uh, you, you get more minutes and stuff like that. But uh, I think that's a challenge me and me and Sandy uh, likes very much, and uh, especially now with with Mas and Holsey out, and uh, uh, you know we uh, we got to be better for sure. Thank you. Next up, we'll go to Lance Hornby, Toronto Sun. Go ahead, Lance. Hi Timothy, you mentioned obviously there's a, the you know the odd adjustment problem you're making, but uh, the longer you're up with this team, uh, the more you convinced that uh, you're uh, you're NHL ready. That there's really not a lot to uh, you know for you, ha- you know with the Marlies and that kind of thing. You've you've made the jump and you got to learn on the job here. Yeah, I, I think I've done a pretty job so far this season. Uh, I think it's just about finding consistency and uh, you know delivering not in and not out, uh, especially now when, when we have guys out, important guys out, uh, that, you know, young guys like me step up and take responsibility. And um, uh, I think, uh, you know, that's a challenge I like. Okay. And second question, uh, how do you like having so many Swedes on the team now? Seems a new one gets added uh, every day. What's, what's the comfort level like in the room? Uh, do you guys speak in your native tongue, that kind of thing? Yeah, it's fun. Uh, I've been lucky enough, you know, uh, every year I've been here, we, we have a lot of Swedes. So it's always fun to to speak your own language. But, uh, you know, when we are around other guys, we, we try and speak English as much as possible. And uh, but it's definitely fun having uh, having some Swedes on the team. Uh, a quick follow up to that is that there's a more what, what's the divide like? Are there more northern Swedes or uh, southern Swedes or? urban Swedes or uh, country Swedes what's the what's the demographic there um I, I, we're pretty close to each other me, me and Kira lives pretty close close to each other back home and then uh our guys lives in Stockholm I think so um pretty close but uh yeah me, me and Kira lives the closest next up we'll go to Luke Fox Sportsnet go ahead Luke Hi, Timothy. Uh, sticking with the, the Swede theme here, uh, how familiar are you with Pontus Holmberg? Uh, I believe he's the same age as you. Yeah, I've, I've actually never played with him. Um, yeah, I uh, follow the Swedish league, uh, so I know he's been uh, he's been doing very well in, uh, in Vecqua and obviously made an Olympic roster, so uh, good for him. What what's uh, the word that you've heard about his game? Like, what what are his best attributes? Uh, I think just a solid two way player. Uh, you know, good defensively, good defensively. Uh, you know, a lot of responsibilities and just a solid solid two way forward. Thanks. And the last one here, we'll go to Mark Masters. TSN, go ahead, Mark. Timothy, what do you appreciate about uh, Morgan Riley's game and how he's been going here of late? Yeah, I, I think he's a good player, great player. Uh, I think he's taken another step this year. Uh, he's a good voice in the locker room, uh, a leader uh, on and off the ice, and uh, obviously a huge part of our team.
You mentioned you think he took another step this year. Where are you seeing him take his game even to another level this year? I don't know. I, I think he's just all over the place, you know. Uh, he's good in D-zone. He, uh, he contributes a lot offensively. And uh, just for me, being up the whole year now, uh, I've noticed just how good of a leader he is in the locker room. And, uh, yeah, good person overall. Where do you feel like that leadership comes through the most? Is it he's taking you aside? Uh, what sort of personal kind of experience do you have with Morgan as a leader? I think it just takes time to talk to everybody, uh, ask questions about about your life and uh, your personal life and stuff like that. Just uh, uh, just take time to to talk to uh, younger guys like me. I, I think we like the team in general is pretty good at uh, you know keeping everyone included.